So let's actually add some uh, more logic. First of all, I want to take uh, well, I'm basically going to write the logic for the leaderboards. What happens when we get a list? And when we're spawning this, we're still not talking with the uh, database yet. We're going to add it a bit later in the course. So I'm going to go on to my managers and I'm going to create a new script, which I'm going to call leaderboard manager or leaderboards manager. Let's save that and let's open this perfect then let's delete all that let's add namespace so this will need a reference to well actually not the reference to the ui because we are going to have a new script which we're going to call leaderboard entry Okay, open it up. Let's try from here. Let's delete this namespace. So, two things, or well, actually, three things, mm, maybe four. So, we need name, we need kill ratio, or how many turns and text or let's call it kills and how many times he died we also can have a text for place in the leaderboard and of course a bull is online or not if somebody is online or if he's not this will play the online part will play when you can actually challenge somebody online okay so the idea is you're going to be you you click one of these uh, one of the leaderboards and if he's online you can challenge him now if he's busy it will be taking it as offline or it will be completely ignoring it we'll see how that goes uh, yeah we'll see about that actually about the invites uh, but we can have this here okay so this will be the main game object then that means we're going to have a public class for leaderboard uh, yeah I think that should have been the leaderboard too. anyway where we're going to be getting the raw data for this so now this actually is a game object and then the bool is in place the integer we're going to have that for the place a string for the username and an integer for the kills and the deaths and that's your leaderboards which means then over here we can have on enable And we're going to have a list of created objects. And well, we don't have a list of the leaderboards, but the call for that will be void load leaderboard where we'll be passing a list we get from our database with the leaderboard. Then in here we need a game object for the leaderboard prefab and we need a transform for where we're going to be parent that leader grid or well parent. Then for each or let's do a for loop leaderboards dot count game object geo instantiate leader prefab as game object 
mgo.transform.setParent as leader parent and I'm going to just fix the scale on this we don't need to do anything else and we can get the leaderboard entry okay, component in children where we're going to be searching for leaderboard entry and e dot we're going to have a load leaderboard so public void load leaderboard load leaderboard I'm going to get the leaderboard l and then is online set active l dot is online place equals place dot text equals leaderboard dot place dot string let's use a double digits over here well maybe even higher we could use like a three digits or well i'm going to just keep it to top top 50 maybe top 10 we'll see but let's assume we're going to get top 50 place the text uh, we already have the place the text we need the username dot name l dot actually username dot text l dot username then we have our kills dot text equals l dot kills string then we have the deaths text equals l dot deaths dot to string okay and that's just creating the objects for the leaderboard so that will be load leaderboard leaderboards i i'm going to assume that it's going to be sort by the 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 place you have over here from the network so create entries create entries we're going to be adding it here create entries dot add game object now if we want to clear this up so we're going to say public bool is dirty and it's going to actually it's going to be a private method where we're going to be saying is dirty equals false so if is dirty load leaderboard and you're going to be passing the value or i think maybe for this one yeah we don't really need the enable we can just keep it like this so that will be the leaderboard manager creating all these objects then let's create a clear method void clear leaderboards game objects because we are going to be updating the leaderboards of course then we're going to be doing for i created entries dot count if created entries i is not null destroy created entries i dot it's already the game object then created entries dot clear uh, one other note is inside the leaderboard we will have we can use a username if this is uh, unique per player you could use the username or you could use the user id but that's not going to show in the leaderboard entry okay we're not going to visualize that that's for internal calls when we want to say we want to play against one player or against a different player so that works let's set this, this up over here and i think maybe it's too soon to actually do a lot of work with the leaderboards but whatever let's create the leaderboard manager leader parent will be the content for this and the game object will be this i'm going to delete the other objects let's call this leaderboard entry and let's add it and then let's set up the objects the first the, the online is this let's see what this is that's the username 
this will be the uh, kills and this will be deaths then and uh, we also want the position which is going to be this one yeah okay let's leave it like that the position will change color depending on the depending on the position so if you are at first place we're going to set up a color for the first two places so gold you know browns uh, and silver not in that order position then username then kills then deaths okay so let's go and set up the colors and i'm going to do the three colors public color first place second place and third place okay and we can have everybody else rest places so we have the leaderboard we can pass the well we can actually just pass the color as well over from here color c and then in here we're going to have the image for place background then place background dot color will be c Then in here, we're going to be saying Yeah, let's actually fix the color, so Color, target color We're going to set this up as rest places Target color will be here, then if leaderboards i dot place equals one or i guess depending where this is in the array it should be yeah okay we're going to use the index numbers so that will be over here we will do plus one Uh, yeah not here but here plus one so the first guy will be zero so you know what due to that I'm going to just use the index itself so I if it equals zero target color first place if i equals one target color second place if i equals two then target color third place so in the other cases we'll just use the rest place so let's set this up as well uh, let's find some arbitrary colors to set up so first place I'm just going to copy the object we have over here, but first let's assign the leaderboard background. Let's rename this to pause background. Then on to the leaderboard. First place, we want to get this color. Then for this, let's see we have 15 down here let's use 15 down here that will be just dark then for second place and third place for second place let's do something like silver something like this and third place something like bronze something like that okay then that's actually it for setting up the leaderboards but 
I kind of want to fix the position for we have over here. So I'm do indeed I'm going to say public void on enable. If not is dirty. Um, well, first of all, if created entries dot count equals zero, we're going to do lot leaderboards. Okay, when we enable this, then let's set up the buttons we have down here. Where yeah that's the button so that will be open the leaderboard manager and let's write actually here's one thing you can do is duplicate the leaderboard entry uh, the content so this will be leaderboard content and this will be friend list content okay so leaderboard entry I'm going to close that then since we do have the leaderboard entry the leaderboard manager we can he keep public game object for leaderboard objects or content and we're going to do a public void create then public void open leaderboard or leaderboards then leaderboard content dot set active to true and we're going to be instantiating some of this now let's uh, set up on our global settings asset I'm going to create a public leaderboard list get leaderboards then let's just return now for now then we're going to have a non-serialized class so that will be public class Serialized. Oh, serialized what am I writing uh, that will be a list of leaderboard okay this is not going to be public mm, so this we just return leaderboards and of, of course at first it's just going to be empty so I'm just going to create a new entry and let's say deaths equals 30 username test username place that will be first or well zero is online equals false and kills we can say 30 okay let's duplicate that user 2 and set this to 1 and I think that should do it for this or let's make one more 4 3 so this will be retaining us some leaderboards so then on the leaderboard manager if this is open so whenever we load this we're going to be doing global settings dot settings get leaderboards 
Ok, so we can add this inside the start as well. Open leaderboards. Well, we actually need a manager, but we're going to just leave this manager handle the work. So we have a leaderboard content, but let's also create a friend list content. And we have the leader parent. Let's add the friend parent. And let's add the friend prefab. Perfect. Friend list counter, leader parent. Okay. Then, whenever we load the leaderboard, we're going to be setting up friend list close, public void open friend list we're going to be doing somewhat the same thing set this to false however and set this to true and this now it's going to be a load yeah well actually we don't really need to do much here we don't really need to have all this as friends to mm, yeah we have the little parent we can just use the same parent for your for the friend and yeah let's do that we just we can use the same prefab I mean so I'm going to just place here the parent transform parent and then parent we have this here, so this one is going to be leader parent. And this one will be the friend parent. Okay, so mm, list, okay. Then you got all your or your leaderboards yeah I think that will do it but we need to know where we are adding its entry you cannot add it I guess well technically we can just do this every time and yeah let's just do this so minimize that And let's add the calls now. Then on click, go to the leaderboard manager and open friend list. And then in the leaderboards, on the leaderboard manager, open leaderboards. Then on this, add the leaderboard content and then add also the friend list content. Okay, the friend parent is here friend parent and we also need to actually open the game object once we load this because we're going to close the prefab so this one now doesn't need a leaderboard entry and we can be using this so if I play press if I press play now we should get like the, th the three entries we had on the leaderboard and true enough here it is we do have them but this one goes one two why is this four it's weird uh, I think I might have written it something yeah this needs to be two okay and we can say something like that just some fake friend list and leaderboard content the same logic will apply to getting the friend list
Okay, so get friend list. The leaderboard manager friend list should be here. Get friend list. Now, let's have a text object that we're going. We're not going to have any entries. No entries. Object and if leaderboards content or leaderboards dot count is zero then the no entries object is going to go it's going to be parented on the parent we are passing and we're going to enable it else I'm going to write set active to false okay perfect Save that, then let's see one more thing. Yeah, we need to fix the new entries. So I'm just going to copy this entry and let's open that. Let's call this no entries. And all I need right now is the uh, something to write on. And I'm just going to change to something more transparent, something like that. Okay. Let's delete this and just use on the leaderboard. Let's assign this as no entries. Perfect. So let's hit play. I'm going to switch to friend list, no entries, but leaderboard, here we are. Okay. So let's say I want to say uh, on uh, my my friend list, I want to invite somebody. We're going to create a new object. Well, this is entirely for, for mobile, obviously. On Steam, it's going to change a little bit, but whatever. So, Imagine we're going to have the input blocker with the text close and we're going to have a typing area like this. Yeah, I'm just going to put the input field over here and a button and I'm going to change I'm going to change this uh, later. So that will be over here and this will say invite friend or let's just call it invite whatever it doesn't matter. Okay this will do for now but on my input blocker I'm going to include this as side object so this will be invite invite object uh, invite player to be friends, input field, then okay, that's that will do it. Then on the input blocker, let's also open this, but we will have to my to manually ma uh, manage it. So this can just be a singleton itself. So this will be input blocker. That will be your manager. Let's see, input blocker. And now I'm going to use a different type of singleton. So that will be public static input blocker singleton. And we're going to have a public sta or static 
input blocker singleton. So if on the get of this, if singleton is null, then down here return singleton. So if singleton is null, I'm going to do game object, find object of type, input blocker inside your level. So here I'm going to have a public game object for invite friend objects and public game object loading objects. Okay, so well we can have a different method for this so for example we can say public void open invite menu and down here we can do public void open loading objects active to true loading objects set mm, come on set active to false same with this but not now this will be the opposite and then of course you also need to open up this game object and then we can do public void close loading object, close input blocker okay then let's go on our network manager where it should be somewhere around here network manager on connected Load game scene, yeah, we have the is loading. Oh, we use this from the from the main menu. I guess, yeah. Or or not. Or oh, maybe we don't use it anywhere. Okay, so on the network manager. Load game scene, game scene. Yeah, I think no, but we should just be fine right now with this. So on the little manager, however, we're going to do public bool. A public game object or nothing actually. Public void invite player. Which player that is going to be depends on the user ID you're going to be passing. Or we can just pass the leaderboard right now. And actually that's if you already know his, uh, his invite. So that will be with only using the username. So that means invite player, input blocker, singleton dot load open open invite menu then from that we're going to be getting public void invite player uh, actual with a string of his username okay so that now is going to be checking some database stuff etc for right now we're only going to be opening this object then then this will be sending a, an invite and if the other player accepts then that's good if not then salavi so invite friend objects we have the invite player and we also have the loading objects over here and on start or well of this 
on awake just close both of these objects if we ever forget this open just close this or actually no let's not do anything of that we're just going to close it ourselves okay let's close it now we of course need an object over here that we're going to be clicking and we're going to be saying invite Uh, which means we can just move the leaderboard content no it's the same viewport and rather have a button down here I guess or I guess we can just go behind or below this guy or next to this guy okay so let's see leaderboard friend list and this will be your add friend button oops I'm going to change the icon later right now I don't really care on that that's perfect and then I'm just going to say on this leaderboard open the invite and then when the invite on the input field on invite player in here actually on the play button let's add let's remove the play button from that we're going to be saying input blocker close input blocker but we also need to know we need to send to the leaderboard manager we need to tell them to invite player actual to invite player actual however let's switch this to an input field so to do that we can use unity the ui unity engine dot ui dot input field imp field and we can just take the name from there the value you have save that and then on the play button for this invite player actual I'm just going to drag and drop my own input field okay so let's test this out of course we're not really going to be writing anything it's not really going to happen much we just can change this and this is the load and let's see what we forgot yeah the input blocker singleton is actually the problem then because if singleton equals null this doesn't return a closed object, I guess. Mm, let's see. Game object, find object of type, active object. And yeah, we need to return. find sin objects of type that's deprecated that's deprecated though find objects of type list of active load that object find uh, mm, that's not ideal but this can work because this searches it by name but we only get the game object so no let's just do an awake void awake I'm not just going to do a, a call on the singleton 
or you know what screw this singleton equals this uh, actually let's just do the normal singleton whatever I don't care so if singleton is null then this will be the singleton yeah that's actually it's going to work because we are we're not going to be persistent with this we're not going to keep this object to different scenes okay that's good enough So the only problem is now we need to have the input blocker enabled when we start. So to fix that, I'm going to go on my main menu manager where I think we already have a reference. Let's see, main menu manager. Yeah, we do that. On my main menu manager, inside here I'm going to set this up I'm going to set it to true and I'm going to set it to false right away so it just assigns the singleton okay this doesn't do anything However, hmm. Little bit manager, invite player, let's see. Little bit manager, invite player, open invite menu. Yeah, this needs to be set to true. That's why it didn't work. And that will be actually it for this part then. This is just the leaderboard and friend list, but we don't have any logic for it yet. Any database logic, we're going to add this later. Okay, and there's your friend list. Oh, let's also change what it says above and to do that we need access to the text let's say current content or title dot text equals leaderboards friend list friend or let's just say friends whatever I think it's this one, no, that's the headline, friend list, it's this, the title. Okay, perfect, let's hit play. Let's try this out and I think we're done. Leaderboard, friends, invite. Let's add also a cancel button, now that I see it. and mm, you know what let's kind of make this a little bit more pretty so here's what is going to happen i'm going to lower this i'm going to make it something look that's looking like this so it doesn't really cover the entire scene just the basic parts 
that we need then the invite player I'm going to bring this in the center and below that I'm going to also add a cancel button let's change the color Mm, let's change the color to let's pick the color from this one yeah okay I'm just going to make this slow lower smaller let's say 40 and this one will be something like that okay then we have our invite we have a loading and I'm actually going to add a new object a new panel beneath all of this that is going to act as the actual blocker and it's going to be set to zero alpha okay we just need the blocker for that and on the cancel button we can change the logic on this where we're just going to close the input blocker and that's it let's hit play and let's see what we have friend list add yeah I don't really like this that it's sitting on top of this and the loading object didn't actually work that's weird oh we use it hmm. let's see open loading objects loading object what friend invite player on the leaderboard manager on the leaderboard manager then open invite menu where invite friends object set active loading object we close that okay maybe we have the wrong loading object then yeah we have the wrong loading object perfect so let's try this okay invite cancel I am going to add a few more texts over there but whatever so for now we can just raise the the alpha so it completely hides the play button and so on yeah that's a little bit better and we can have some texts and place them over here and if they accept we should create that yeah we should create the you know a notification that there is a, a friend request but I think I'm just going to brainstorm it myself and then we'll see what we're going to add so that's it for this part as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything then consider supporting me a patron so we can keep making all of these beautiful things we're making I'll see you next time